Hi, my name is Zakar, and welcome to another about one of my outrageously amazing, insanely enlightening master keys of creation about how to be the unlimited master of creation that you truly are to easily create and attract the joy, well being, abundance, and freedom that you desire, and literally make all your dreams come true. And you'll find tons more self empowering videos, podcasts, articles, books, product guidance, and support at zakaran.com. To help you become and be the awesome master that you truly are. And of course on my YouTube channel and my podcast channel entitled The Master Keys of Creation. Alright, so here we go. Delicious Desire. Six Master Keys of Creation to, le to easily and joyfully manifest your delicious desires into your physical reality. Desire, with no doubt or self-judgment, is delicious and fun and feels great to think about. Because, with zero doubt, you are allowing that desire to come to you and you are in alignment with the infinite flow of abundance and your natural creative nature to have desires and then manifest those desires into physical reality. But desire that is full of doubt and self-judgment and uh, when you're thinking about a lack of your desire rather than a delicious abundance of your desire is no fun and feels terrible because you are out of alignment with the infinite flow of abundance and your natural creative nature to have delicious desires and then allow them to easily manifest in your physical reality. When you doubt or judge your desires as difficult or impossible, or you doubt your worthiness or your ability to create that desire into being, or you doubt other people's willingness to cooperate with your desires and help you, it, is, it always feels terrible because you are limiting yourself, which is against your true unlimited state of infinite abundance. You are out of sync with your true, unlimited, all-powerful, divine state of infinite creation as who and what you truly are as source. But when you are just allowing yourself to desire anything or anyone regardless of conditions, circumstances, or abilities, you are operating in your true state of unlimited possibilities. Because our natural state of powerful creation is to just desire anything. And then just allow the infinite, abundant, and constantly expanding universe of creation to rearrange itself and expand itself to manifest your desires for you easily, gracefully, effortlessly. And all you have to do is allow and receive and be a cooperative element in your own co-creation with the universe and not be a resistant blocking element in your universal co-creation. By not trying to bang your desires into place with control and manipulation, and not trying to prove your worthiness to receive your desires, and not doubting that they will or can come true, and not doubting your purity or morality or spirituality, etc., etc., process of divine creation and creating your desires is the allowing process of attraction, not physical control and action, and not fighting against a lack of your desires. Yes, you can get some traction from being a go-getter, being an action junkie, junkie, especially since people are impressed by people who are able to overcome overwhelming odds and succeed through massive action because let's face it we're all pretty much lazy but massive action is not sustainable and ultimately drains your energy and life force because action alone has no source frequency behind it especially desperate action to try to get away from what you don't want rather than inspired action towards what you do want what is sustainable and energizing rather than draining is inspired action where first 
you prepare your vibration so that you are in alignment with an abundance of your desire rather than a lack of your desire, then when you are inspired to action, that action is not only enjoyable and fun, but it is extremely fruitful in comparison to the impotent nature of action without inspiration that always comes from desperation. Because action without inspiration is desperate action. It is more often than not action to overcome lack or some sort of opposing force that supposedly is trying to keep you from getting what you want. Whereas with inspired action, there are no opposing forces. There are no enemies, including yourself, who are not blocking your flow of abundance. And you are just allowing the infinite abundant universe to just bring you whatever you desire on a gorgeous, beautiful silver platter. So, desire that is allowed and not doubted or judged is fun and exciting and delicious because you are allowing yourself to feel the vibrational fun, exciting abundance of that desire as if it is already here and you are already experiencing it and already tasting it and already licking it and already loving it as if Christmas is already here and you're already opening your presents even though they are not physically here yet. You're enjoying the deliciousness of your desire that you as source experiences with every single one of your desires because who you truly are as source instantly becomes every single one of your desires as soon as you desire it. Your source never judges or doubts any desire that you have. It doesn't matter how crazy or impossible your desire is to you or the others believe your source does not ev ever remotely believe your doubts or other people's doubts because your source is not limited in any way. He does not believe in limitation. If your desire is to fly like Superman with no wings and no technologies, uh, you just think about it and you're flying across the sky. Well, your source does not think, hey, knucklehead, uh, what about this thing called gravity? Uh, duh. You're not a freaking bird. You didn't have wings. You're not an airplane. You're not Superman. No. Your source just says, your wish is your command. You're Superman. Ba ding ding. Let's fly. Your, your, your source is like your fairy godmother with a magic wand and says, whatever you want, you can have. Humans gauge their self-worth by how good of a creator they are and how much success and money and toys and fame they have and influence they have and by how much they're admired by other people. But those things are not actually an accurate gauge of anything except how good they are at allowing the universe to give them what they want without blocking it. Success, physical goodies, admiration, etc. are not results of worthiness because there is no such thing as unworthiness everyone is equally priceless and quantumly important regardless of their success or fame or admiration because there is no such thing as judgment only humans judge and classify themselves and others as unworthy or worthy good or not good etc and because there is no judgment no and no assertion and no victimhood, because there is only attraction, then that means there is nothing wrong with any desire that anyone can have. It is only self-judgment that makes certain desires no fun and makes them feel bad to think about. For instance, if you are enjoying the delicious desire of dating and playing with and getting to know and sharing amazing experiences with a potential lover, it will feel great to think about that person and all of those delicious experiences that you are having together, even though they are not actually happening physically yet. You might even call that lust. Bum, 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 bum. But as soon as you doubt that that person wants to be with you, or you doubt your worthiness, etc., then that desire will feel bad to think about. 
doesn't feel bad to think about a person in any kind of way, even sexually, unless you're judging yourself for doing it. Bum, 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 bum. Or to put all desire very simply, it feels good to think about an abundance of your desire, and it feels bad to think about a lack of your desire or to judge your desire as being wrong or bad, etc. Or it feels bad to think about what you don't want, and it feels good to think about what you do want. So it will never feel bad to dream about and desire anything or anyone in any way. It only feels bad when you doubt or judge that desire or judge yourself for doubting it. I mean, for judge, for, for thinking about it and, and desiring it. So don't do that. Don't play the helpless, powerless, unworthiness, victim, I'm a big, big ass sinner game. Don't play the I'm not good enough game. Don't play the I'm a lustful bastard game. Uh, don't play the they're out to get me and they don't want me to succeed game. Those games are not any fun because they're not real and your source never doubts or judges your desires. Your source always has your back and never abandons you and judges you in any way. Or to use old world terminology, God always has your back and never ever abandons you or judges you in any way ever, 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 ever. The entire universe wants you to succeed at anything you want to be, do, or have. Or, again, to use old terminology, God, who is not separate from you because you are God, wants you to succeed at anything and everything that you want to be, do, or have. Wants you to have whatever you want to have, to be whatever you want to be. You are the only possible limiting factor in your abundant creation that can hinder your desires from manifesting with your doubts and judgments. So stop it, Jim. The optimal process of creation is, step one, just let life's contrast of unwanted things inspire your desires for wanted things. And step two, Allow yourself to freely desire whatever you want that you believe will make you feel better. And step three, get happy regardless of the conditions in your life and regardless if you have, uh, you know, physically have your desires or not. And then step four, because you're happy regardless of external conditions, your happiness is a vibrational match to your joyful desires. Because those things that you want, you know you're going to be happy once you get them. So, because of that, they're on their way. They're on their way to you right now. The universe is lining it all up, lining up all the cooperative elements for you to have, be, and do whatever you want to do, be, and have. Your joy is opening up the floodgates of abundance. So just be happy and allow the blessings to flow to you with no worries and no hurries. And then step five is the good one, the fun one, which is just have fun allowing the universe to do its work of bringing you to your desires. Just stay in alignment with the delicious, joyful abundance of your desire and watch the universe create miracles and magical synchronicities in your life. In other words, you have already asked. Now, this next step is just receive. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door will be opened up to you. That means you take no action except for inspired action. You listen and feel and watch for the magical synchronicities and opportunities to manifest from all that work that the universe is doing to create all those cooperative elements for you to manifest your desires. And then when those synchronicities happen and you feel the delicious excitement to leap, then step six is finally, finally take action. Now notice that there was hardly any action on your part until step six. Your only activity up to this point was to get into and stay in alignment with joy and abundance and stay in alignment with your desires. 
Your only action was focus on the abundance of your desires and then allow. Be in a receptive state. It's alignment first, then action. It's it's delicious, vibrational, non-physical, emotional, feeling, good feeling, desire first, then inspired action when the universe has done its work. It is not, I repeat, not as humans believe to fight against unwanted things so that you can get what you want to finally be happy. It is not get rid of things that you don't want so that maybe what will be left will be what you do want. <clears throat> That's completely backwards and leaves out all of the important, most important alignment steps. It's not when I get rid of what I don't want and finally get what I do want, then I will be happy. No, not uh, it's get happy. Then all of your desires that make you happy will manifest in your life naturally because they vibrationally match your desires. Your joyful desires match your joyful state. The faulty human strategy of I'll be happy when I get what I want doesn't work because an unhappy journey fighting against unwanted things is not a vibrational match to joyful, fun, abundance. You can't get to a happy result from an unhappy journey. It's just not possible. You can only attract your delicious desires your delicious, fun, joyful desires that you know will make you happy. You can only attract them when you are having fun on every step of the journey to your joyful desires. Because the physical prizes and results are meaningless and worthless by themselves. They only have meaning and worth because of how we feel about them. Did you get that? How we feel about them. So the results are less important than the journey of creating those results and the feelings that you have on that journey of creating those results. And the only reason to desire anything is because it will be fun creating that desire into physical reality. And if you're having fun every step of the way, then it doesn't matter if your desires have manifested here physically in your life yet or not. Bum So, I hope you have enjoyed my podcast, Delicious Desire, and it helps you become a master of desire and allowing those desires to come to you without resistance. And you become a powerful creator of reality where you and the universe of creation create and attract immense joy, wealth, abundance, well-being, and ecstatic fulfillment in your life every single day. And you have fun on every step of the journey of creating your delicious desires into physical reality. Because that's why you came here for the joy of creation, not for necessarily for the joy of creations. So, hope you enjoyed this podcast. Uh, if you did, please share it with your friends. Bless them with these amazing teachings because you love your buddies and you want them to be happy too. You want them to be empowered too. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and my podcast channel, uh, The Master Keys of Creation. Come visit me at zakyron.com for more self-empowering goodies to help you be become the absolute master of creation that you truly are. My name is Zakyron and I help success and joy-minded people create the happy, abundant lifestyle you love. Thanks again for watching my video or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And of course, remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!